uh, because uh, I want to turn to the subject of child safety on the internet. Now, that's something that Claire Perry here has long been campaigning for, and uh, recently she's introduced new clauses in the Digital Economy Bill, forcing adult websites to check users are over 18. Now, if they don't, they could be banned. But how much protection do young people themselves feel they need online? Martin Jones has been to Kingswood to find out. Like most teenagers, these students at Kings Oak Academy live their lives online. I use Facebook and Snapchat and Instagram. All the time since I get home from school until I get to sleep. Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. If I'm not on there, then like my phone will be next to me. They say they know how to protect themselves. They teach us um, all the time about internet safety ever since year seven. It's been a main thing on the agenda over the years, I'd say, and it's pretty much a key part of the curriculum. And they tell me like to keep safe, just by um, telling me to keep off dodgy websites. But there's lots of stuff out there that's frightening or dangerous. Like if you're researching something or you've gone onto like a website or something like that, maybe like something will pop up or an advertisement will show something like a bit weird. People share certain things like on Facebook and stuff that I don't really want to be seeing so it's I can't help it myself because it's up to them what they share. So back at Kings Oak Academy, the question is whether the students believe they need more measures like the new bill designed to protect them. I think they could teach more. So um, not only like children and students, but teach parents as well and how to um, control what their children see. I don't think there's much that they can do about it because people always find a way around it. What constitutes is OK to some people might not be OK to others, so they can't just put a block on certain things without upsetting a form of a group of people. I don't think the government can do much. Like, they can do their best, but I think the best thing to do is probably, like, educate people on how to protect themselves, because people will always find a way around it, and if they know how to prevent, um, to pre uh, like, protect themselves, then that would be, like, much better than, than blocking it for you. Uh, thanks for your thoughts, Jess, Callum, Steph and Jamie from Kings Oak Academy. You were talking to Martin Jones there.